my dear students i welcome you all to my channel which is velvet english so today we are going to discuss the question answers from the chapter the address and this is the topic which i have taken from our supplementary book that is snapshots so the address whose writer is marga minko we are going to discuss all the important mcqs and this is the pattern which cbsc will follow in your upcoming examination that is why you have to keep in mind all those points okay so without wasting our time let's begin with the first question your first question is mark the name of the author your options are option a marga minko option b william saroyan option c khushwan singh option d none of the above now to answer this question it is easy because it's written out here in the title so option a is correct that is marga minko okay let's move to the next question during whose rule jews suffered a lot option a hitler option b napoleon bonaparte option c benito mussolini option d none of the above so here option a is your answer hitler adolf hitler is the culprit for the condition of jews during holland war okay let's move to the next question the theme of the story is dash option a illogicality of war option b war destroys life property natural resources option c reconciling with the present leaving behind past option d all of the above so here all these three are the theme of the story because it talks about futility of war whoever wins there won't be anybody to celebrate the victory okay and obviously during war even if there is peace contract after some time but that time till that time there will be destruction of property life and natural resources so even if we come to a contract or peace treaty a lot of damage will already have been done so it talks about this as well and third point which is very important is that we are not able to change our past so we need to try to change our future therefore all the three options are correct that is why our answer is option d okay all of the above let's move to question number 4 poignant means option a pungent option b moving or emotional option c scary and option d sad so in the first paragraph of the story it is said that it is a poignant story which means emotionally moving so your option b becomes the answer let's move to next question and here we have where did mrs s and her daughter stay option a denmark option b holland option c germany and option d none of the above so here option b is correct because mrs s and her daughter they were jews and they stayed in holland during the clash between holland and germany mrs s was there in holland itself okay let's move to the next page next question in our list is during the first visit who opened the door to the narrator option a mrs darling option b mrs s option c mrs darling's daughter option d none of the above so in the first visit it was mrs darling who opened the gate for the narrator she didn't open it fully okay but it was just a chink it means she opened it very slightly so option a is your right answer let's move to the next question why did mrs darling didn't recognize the narrator 
Option A, she recognizes but pretended that she doesn't know her. Option B, because she had forgotten her. Option C, they were strangers. Option D, none of the above. So, after reading the story, we get the answer. That is, option A is correct. She recognizes but she pretends that she has never met with the narrator ever. Okay, so option A is your right answer. Let's move to the next question. What ascertained that she came to the right address? Option A, her mother's green cardigan. Option B, tablecloth. Option C, furniture. And option D, none of the above. So here, you have to write the very first thing which gave proof that she has she had come to the right address and it is her mother's green cardigan her mother's long sweater okay so option a is the right answer looking at this green cardigan she remembered her mother that it was her mother's sweater and because of excessive use the cardigan's button had become faded okay let's move to the next question have you come back? Who is the speaker here? Option A, Mrs. Dolling. Option B, Mrs. S. Option C, the narrator. And option D, none of the above. So here, Mrs. Dolling is the speaker. Have you come back? She wanted to confirm whether Mrs. S and her daughter, both of them were alive or they were dead but because of this line uh, it is being revealed that she was unhappy to see the narrator because she thought that she has to give back all the expensive belongings of the narrator and her mother let's move to the next question who opened the gate who opened the door at the second time option a daughter of mrs dolling Option B, Mrs. Dolling. Option C, Mrs. S. And option D, the narrator. So obviously it is the daughter of Mrs. Dolling. At that time, Mrs. Dolling had gone out for some work. Therefore, the narrator was very fortunate to get the opportunity to go inside. She went inside and uh, it was born in disguise because she decided not to take all those belongings with her because if she would have brought everything along with her, then she would have not been in good condition because now and then she would have remembered her mother and she would have compared the way she used to keep those items in their beautiful house, okay, and how Mrs. Dolling had kept it in her muggy, smelly room, okay. So, not only that, she would have remembered the treachery that Mrs. Dolling did to her mother. So, she would not have been in peace. That is why it was a boon in disguise that Mrs. Dolling's daughter opened the gate and she was allowed to sit inside and then she had changed her mind. Okay, let's move to the next question. What similarity do we find in Mrs. Dolling and her daughter? Option A, both had same physical features. Option B, both were generous. Option C, both were kind-hearted. Option D, none of the above. So, the first thing is correct. That is, both had same physical features. You have to keep in mind, by looks, by appearance, they were similar, but their nature was very different. Mrs. Dolling did not allow an stranger sorry a stranger to get inside the room but her daughter not only she allowed a stranger inside her room but she had given proper hospitality to an unknown guest therefore even though their physical features were similar but not their manners okay let's move to the next page Why did the narrator not pay attention to things? 
on her way. After being betrayed by Mrs. Dolling at the first visit, she decided to go back. Therefore, when she was returning, she didn't want to see the things on her way. What was the reason? Option A, those evoked past memories. Option B, she recalled her days with her mother. Option C, she remembered her happy days. Option D, all of the above. So your answer will be option D and that is all of the above. She didn't look at, she didn't pay attention to those things which was on her way because all those things evoked her memory because that was the place where she spent her childhood, where she spent her days with her mother and they were very rich. Therefore, they lived very happily in a luxurious manner which has changed at the present. Okay. She was uh, staying in a rented room with handful of things with her. Okay, let's move to the next question. Mrs. S reprimanded her daughter. What does it show? Mrs. S, mother of the narrator, she scolded her daughter when she questioned whether Mrs. Dolling is going to give back her uh, belongings or not. Okay, so what was the reply of Mrs. S? Let's see. And what does it show? Which nature is being highlighted here? Option A, she valued her guest. Option B, she was an educated lady. Option C, she had a habit of scolding everyone. Option D, none of the above. So, option A is correct that she valued her guest. Okay. It's not that she was educated. We don't know whether she had some degree or not. All right. And we don't know whether she had a habit of scolding everyone. We just know she valued her guest. That is why mother didn't allow her daughter to question on her guest. That is why option A is your answer. Next question. What was the intention of Mrs. Dolling? Option A. To keep all the belongings of Mrs. S. Option B. To safeguard the items genuinely. Option C. To sell off those items. Option D. All of the above. And here B, C, D. All three are incorrect and option A is correct because she wanted to keep all the belongings of Mrs. S. Okay, let's move to the next question. Did Mrs. Dolling take the trouble for Mrs. S? Now see, you need to understand the question well. Was it genuine concern of Mrs. Dolling towards Mrs. S or she did it for somebody or some other reason? Let's see the answer. Yes, oh, sorry, no. Yes, option C, maybe. Option D, maybe not. So, did Mrs. Dolling take the trouble for Mrs. S? No, she did not take trouble for anyone. She took it to safeguard the items for herself. Okay, and when we talk genuinely, uh, practically rather, then we understand that she did not safeguard the item for herself also. Okay, it was being used as it was. There was no point of cleaning. There was no point of, you know, keeping it properly or doing the mending work. The tablecloth was, uh, the tablecloth had some burn mark and that was also not repaired by them. Okay, so... When they were using, they could have mended and used it in a better way. But that also Mrs. Dolling did not do, which shows distastefulness of Mrs. Dolling towards arrangement of this room. Okay. Next question. What is the correct address of Mrs. Dolling? Option A, Macaroni Street. Option B, Dolling 46, Markney Street. Option C, Mrs. Dolling, 40 Markney Street. Option D, none of the above. So, option B is correct. That is Dolling, 46 Markney Street. Okay, next question. Explain, bread was getting to be a lighter color. Now, after the treaty, the food item or the bread became 
of lighter color. It means option A, food became cheaper. Option B, the quality of the necessary items became better. Option D, quality of the food was standardized. Option D, all of the above. So here your answer is option C. Okay, now there might be confusion between option B and C, but option C is correct because we don't know how high was the rate of the food items. Okay, and we are concerned about food items here and not other necessary items. Okay, there are other necessary items which a human being require, but we are not talking about these things. We are talking about food or bread. That is why option C is correct. Quality of the food was standardized. It means the food item became better. Okay, during war, somehow they used to manage it uh, when they were trying to save themselves in the basement and in other secret chambers when they were chased by German troops. So here it is specifically option C which is correct. Next question, option, uh, our next question is, afraid of being confronted with things that had belonged to a connection that had no longer existed. The things that are mentioned here are, option A, the belongings of Mrs. S, option B, the dead remnants of past memories, option C, German soldiers, Option D, none of the above. So here, let me read out again so that it will be clear to you all. Afraid of being confronted with things that had belonged to a connection that no longer existed. So here, it's option A, which is correct. The belongings of Mrs. S. The narrator is talking about Mrs. S items, okay? And those items are separated from their true owner which is Mrs. S. Okay, narrator is not involving herself here with these things because uh, because of some reason she was away from her home. Okay, so it was sole Mrs. S who had a proper bonding with those things. That is why she is saying that afraid of being confronted with things. Okay, that had belonged to a connection. Connection here is Mrs. S that no longer existed. It means Mrs. S was already dead during that uh, chaotic situation in Holland created by German troops. Okay, So, in that confusion she died and there is no connection between Mrs. S and those things. So, these items are severed or separated from their true owner. That is what being mentioned here. Therefore, option A is the sole answer. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in vain until they were put back in their place again? Which literary device we find in these in this line? So here your options are personification, assonance, paradox and tautology. So here option A is correct that is personification. Let me clear why it is the answer. Which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in vain. See here these items okay, like cutlery items are waiting in vain when they will be put back in their place again. The items which Mrs. Dolling had collected from Mrs. S. Okay, those items are waiting for Mrs. S. Alright, so that they can go back again and get the true owner. Okay, so what do we see here? Emotion is being shown by inanimate things. Cutlery items which were there in cupboards and boxes. Okay, they are waiting in vain. It means Inanimate things are given life. That is why personification is the answer. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Mm. 
Why did the narrator want her belongings back? Option A. Being a greedy girl, she wanted her mother's items back. Option B. She needed those for furnishing her room. Option C. She wanted to remember her mother with her items. Option D. All of the above. So here, option C is correct answer. She wanted to remember her mother with her items. The narrator was never greedy. Okay, and she never wanted these items back. But suddenly, she had a feeling of getting all those belongings back so that she can remember the memory which were related with her mother and those items. That is why she wanted it back. Let's move to the next question. Was the narrator's first visit successful? Option A, yes. Option B, no. Option C, no idea. Option D, none of the above. So here, the narrator's first visit was not successful. No, it was not successful at all because Mrs. Dolling did not allow her to get inside the room even. Okay, next, next question. Find the meaning of error. So here, your options are option A, error. Option B, short trip or walk. Option C, maltreatment. Option D, none of the above. So here, errand means a short trip for a purpose. Okay, it's not like evening walk or morning walk. It's like purposeful walk. Okay, you're walking but for some purpose like getting some medicine from the shop, getting uh, sugar from the shop, etc. Okay, so here, errands Correct answer is B, short trip or short walk. Next question in our list is, while crossing the passage, what did the narrator think about the Hanukkah? Option A, that it was heavy, therefore they used another one. Option B, it was looking beautiful in the room of Mrs. Dolling. Option C, it was a worthy purchase of her mother. Option D, none of the above. So here, your answer is option A, that Hanukkah, Hanukkah means candle stand. Okay. This candle stand had multiple candle holders. Therefore, it has become very heavy. Okay. Therefore, they avoided this and they used single candle stick. Okay, let's move to the next question. It was much more cumbersome than a single candlestick. The word cumbersome means option A, hard, option B, heavy, option C, soft, option D, broken. So the answer is already here in the previous question that is heavy. Cumbersome means heavy. Okay, next question. Explain, I was in a room I knew and didn't know. So, here your answer is, let's see the options first. The items were familiar but the atmosphere was not. Option B, she had visited the address but now she had forgotten. Option C, her mother was dead and she felt her absence. Option D, none of the above. So, here option A is correct again. That is, the items were familiar I was in a room I knew. She knew the room because the items were familiar to her and didn't know. It is because the atmosphere, the place where these items were kept were totally strange. Okay, so option A is your right answer. Okay, let's move to the next question. The tablecloth belonged to her mother. How did she confirm that? Option A, with its color. Option B, with its ink spot. Option C, with its peculiar design. Option D, with a burn mark. Okay, with a burn mark. Option D is correct, that is with a burn mark. This burn mark required mending task, but Mrs. Dolling had used this tablecloth, but they did not mend the tablecloth at all as it was given 
by Mrs. S. They had used it till date. Okay, so in order to confirm whether the tablecloth was theirs or not, she tried to find out this burn mark and she found it on the table. Okay, next is, who is the speaker of these lines? My mother will be back soon. Option A, the narrator. Option B, Mrs. Dolling. Option C, Mrs. Dolling's daughter. Option D, Mrs. S. It is option C, that is Mrs. Dolling's daughter. She said, my mother will be back soon. Okay, let's move to the next question. That's a nice box. I heard my own voice. Who is this speaker and what does it mean? Option A. The narrator is the speaker. It means her mother's items were beautiful. Option B. Darling's daughter is the speaker. And it means her mother had a great taste. Option C. Mrs. Darling is the speaker. And it means... She felt proud to have those items. Option D, none of the above. So, the correct answer is option A. The narrator is the speaker here who had gone to bring her mother's belongings back. And it means her mother's items were beautiful because unconsciously, unconsciously she complimented those items. That's a nice box. This box was of her mother. Okay, so she is praising her own mother's items. This shows her mother had beautiful items which Mrs. Darling had taken. Next question. Was the daughter of Mrs. Darling aware about the true owner of the antique items? Why? Why not? Option A. No. She didn't know because mother never told her about the true owner. Option B, yes, she knew it, but she didn't bother. She didn't care whose it was, they were using it, it was fine. Okay, next C. Option C, maybe she kept looking at the cutlery items. Maybe because there is a state of confusion. Option D, maybe not. She could not understand the girl's gestures. See, what this girl or the narrator did. Now and then she was asking questions which uh, Mrs. Darling's daughter was not able to answer. Sometimes she is looking at candle stand, then she is looking at cutlery items, then she is looking at tablecloth. Okay, she is trying to find out the bone mark. So her body language is different. Okay, that is why she was not able to understand her gestures. Now let's see what is the answer. Answer is option A, no. The daughter of Mrs. Darling was not aware about who was the true owner. It is because when the narrator came to their house, she said that you must not be knowing that these cutlery items were made up of silver. And that was right. Mother never told her about the true owner of these items. Okay, maybe she had lied that she bought it from the market. Okay, or it was gifted by someone. She didn't say it was of Mrs. S. Alright, so option A is the right answer. Let's move to the next question now. How do the readers know that the narrator was from an elite background? Elite means very rich, uh, rich okay, family. Option A, they had antique and unique items. Option B, they went on trip frequently. Option C, Mrs. S had bought a lot of property in Holland. Option D, all of the above. So, this is not correct because they never went for the trip. Next, they didn't buy any property. When they were not able to save the property which they have presently, then why they will buy it? Right? So, only one thing is left and that is option A. They had antique and unique items. That is why we know they were from elite background. And uh, children, you must be telling or thinking that these items later on went to Mrs. Darling. So, why these things did not make Mrs. Darling a rich person or rich lady? 
it is because see only housing these antique items are not enough you should know where they should be kept in order to gain its true value okay if the items are beautiful but the place where they are kept is not good then what will happen it will lose its value okay so the same thing has happened those silver golden and uh, copper plates all these items had lost value in mrs dolling's room because her room was not adequate according to this uh, richness of mrs s okay that is why we understand that they were not rich okay next question dollings were not rich but mrs s were okay mrs s and her daughter were next what made her suffocated at the end of this story by her we mean the narrator okay what made the narrator suffocated at the end of the story option a maltreatment option b distasteful arrangement of the items option c betrayal of mrs dolling and option d all of the above so here maltreatment is also correct but this is not the answer option b distasteful arrangement of the items that is also correct answer and then option c betrayal of mrs dolling so here your appropriate answer is distasteful arrangement of items okay distasteful arrangement of items is the correct answer for this question what made her suffocated at the end of the story it's distasteful arrangement of the items option okay sorry not option last question the familiar life of former times instantly lose their value when severed from them you see them again in strange surroundings other uh, strange surroundings what is the narrator talking about option a separation of mother with her belongings option b holland war and its consequences option c german troops and inhuman act option d all of the above so here the familiar life of former times means mothers times instantly lose their value when separated from them it means all those belongings had lost it had lost its value because they were severed from their true owner which was mrs s okay so now they are in a strange room and they are kept in a very untidy manner okay and rest of the things are not correct so children by this we have completed the mcqs from this chapter if you have any queries do let me know so that i can help you out with the solutions till then we meet take care and study well